to my channel if you don't know me I am Sakina and welcome to my channel um, be sure to like and subscribe and if you feel led leave a comment and be sure to follow me on socials at sakina.jones and yeah so a few things before we get into the video so y'all I had deleted like a week's worth of content um, that I've been grabbing for the last few weeks and honestly Last few weeks have been a lot. Like, it has been a lot. I feel like I've been just working and been, like, so tired. So tired. Luckily, our offices are closed for 11 days for the holidays. However, um, I think because I was doing, like, 11 days of work to fill in those holes while I'm gone on holiday. So I had to just make sure that, like, while our offices are closed, that everything is still flowing throughout the break. I was really just, like, tired. And then also this month has been so many birthday celebrations, so many holiday parties, so many holiday events. I just really do feel like I was just so exhausted and tired. This has been just a very long week. I've worked all week long and then Friday after I got off work, I had to go to church because I had to serve at church and I didn't get home until like around like nine o'clock-ish and then I had to wake up this morning around eight o'clock then I had to go um, Christmas shopping. Um, so I got back in around 12.30. Then I cleaned around my apartment. I cooked dinner slash lunch. And then I wrapped all of my presents, which I was surprised. I planned to only wrap half of the presents, but I was just so in the flow and I had a show plan. So I know I wrapped all of the presents and now we're here. I'll be at church tomorrow for our Christmas Eve celebration. Um, so I'll be serving as well. So I'll have to get there in the morning. 
And then Monday is Christmas and Tuesday is like officially when my break starts, I feel like. I feel like Tuesday is literally when my break actually starts. So yeah, so that is my update right now as far, it's okay baby. As far as like what's been going on, I talked about my last vlog too, that I am redoing my whole entire space as we talked about. So my bedroom is about 85% done. I actually like, I love doing stuff like this because it makes me feel like all of my creativeness gets to come out um, in different forms. And one of them is like how I create this space. And you might have noticed the background's a little bit different. So my room is like 85% done. And all I have to do left is one, I have to buy some more stairs. So Brax has access to my bed. I know a lot of pet parents, it's a no-no, but however, my dog is a in-home dog and he is a white dog and we keep him clean. Right now, we have like this gray color staircase and um which is i love it but i like the color so they have one that's a cream color it's been sitting in my cart for a very long time because in my heart i just don't feel right paying that much money for um paying that much money for um some stairs it is so expensive but it's in my cart so i'm hoping it goes on sale this christmas or I'll just probably make it the very last thing that I get. Um, and then I also have to get a new dresser. Obvious reasons. I just have to get a new dresser. And this dresser, I have had this dresser for almost like a few years now. And it's honestly can't carry all my clothes or hold a lot of my clothes anyways. But but I want to get like a, um, a more longer dresser. However, just the thought of like either finding one and having it delivered, selling my current one, or buying one and having to put it together, it just don't sit right with me right now. Like, I'm not in that headspace where I want to put furniture together right now. So I'm not going to worry about that. But I am excited because I am going to end up painting the opposite side of my bedroom. So how you see, like, the backdrop here, it'll be also on the opposite side wall of my, my bedroom space. I think my apartment is pretty good size to me. It's pretty large. Um... But I've been looking at like paint theory and how to make your space feel more like cozier and smaller. And they said if you have paint and then on the vertical side, um, also add the same paint to make it feel more like closed in. So I'm going to be doing that over my break. So I'm also going to be working on my living room throughout this whole break as well. But my living room needs some TLC. I talked about last vlog how I didn't have inspiration for it. But I actually have a lot of inspiration for it. So my this room is more like zen. It's very, a lot of neutrals, of course. No, a lot of neutrals and olive. That's about it you get from it. But it's very calming to me when I'm in here. Very cozy. It's like a nice cozy blanket and stuff. Um, but my living room is going to be more bold. So I'm going for an art deco vibe. So I'll pop up the picture. So I actually went and got this console from CB2. And I'm working around that and my couch. I talked about how I have a chocolate couch. And it's so hard <laughs> to style a room with a chocolate couch. Like I've seen, I could do a cream couch. But a chocolate couch makes it so hard. So I want to go for like a neutral meat art deco kind of vibe I think both of those kind of like speak for me so I'll show you guys some pillows I was out Christmas shopping but I found a pillow um that I really really like I think it's so beautiful and it's like a velvet pillow so this pillow is going out on my couch um out in my living room and I also have this one as well so as you can kind of tell it'll be you know a lot of prints going on on my couch and also I'm going to be painting my walls not this same like color but that same kind of feel that you guys see in here but I'm going to use different paint to do that but more something more soft I have to like paint my wall in my living room I need to get a new rug and I need to get I've been looking at a couple of chairs because I have an l-shaped couch but something is telling me to add like a, a very unique statement piece chair like on like my couch is like this it's like an L like this and I want to add a chair right here just to make it more like a gathering kind of space so then after that um I do have 
this one thing I want to do to my bathroom. Um, I saw this really cool like runner um, rug. So beautiful. It's such a, such a nice black and white print on it. Like a geometric shape. It's so, so nice. It's in my cart, but I want to get it because I have a really large bathroom and it has like two sinks on it. I think it'll be so dope and it'll add a nice um, like feel into it. It kind of will break up that neutral. I love the neutral vibe. I really do. But also, I also like certain patterns and certain textures. So I want to figure out how I can kind of like intertwine all them together. Um, so anyway, that's my little update as far as like me decorating my space. So you'll probably see that on the vlog throughout the week. I'm going to obviously show that process. And then, um, oh, another update. I don't know if I mentioned this in my last vlog, but I have been working on a family photo shoot for like a whole month. Um, for my family to take pictures and I haven't took family photos since I was a baby so I was really excited to do a Sakina style to take family photos so knowing me because I do it for a living um I created this amazing deck and it talked about the different concepts we'll shoot you know the reasons behind it and all of that jazz so we did two concepts concept one was like a fall shoot so we had a lot of like neutral tones and um and earth tones and then the second one was more so like it's called generations but i'll get into that later but it was kind of a gap um campaign so we had black turtlenecks we had medium wash jeans and white socks and that was actually my favorite one it came out it came out so amazing um and i have picture frames all throughout my apartment so i'm excited over the break to get some printed and to put them into picture frames and stuff like that hey baby yes my baby you want some attention Oh, you want to play? I can't play right now. It's not always common, so I'm glad that we had a chance to do it, and maybe we can make it a yearly thing. We'll see. Um, but that's the other update. Um, and then I feel like I was working on so much stuff at one time. That's probably why I feel this way. Like, I'm over here redoing my entire space, working a full-time job, creating YouTube videos, planning a whole entire family photo shoot. I'm like, girl, what else are you doing? Um, and then attending all these holiday parties and birthday parties and all these events and I'm just like I'm event out right now Christmas is in two days so Christmas is one of my favorite holidays I like to give more than really receive I'm gonna be grateful for whatever I do receive but I'm just so happy to give throughout this holiday and I am a gift giver so I will spend hours in stores to search for like the the perfect thing that I feel for someone Anyways, y'all, I'm about to hop up off of here. Um, and I thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. So I will see y'all like in my next vlog. Bye. Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. So disappointing, but I did not get on the camera. I haven't recorded in the last two days. It is the day after Christmas. <laughs> and oh I'm horrible. I was like, Christmas Eve, I'm going to get on. And Christmas Day, I was get on. But I just really was not feeling like getting on camera. And yesterday was Christmas Day. It was such a fun time in my mom's house. I love that, like, I always put on my gift list to give me, like, pet gift cards. So I got a lot of gift cards for Brax, uh, which I love, okay? So you might may see a lot of things in my background all, like, look like it's packed up. So I'm actually moving. Just kidding. I'm not moving, so things are packed up because I'm actually painting. I didn't eat yet, so I'm about to make some breakfast really quick, so I'll be hangry. I'm in a very much Shrek mood, so I ended up buying, I, I have like Netflix, Hulu, Apple TV, um, Prime Video, all those things, and for some reason Shrek isn't on there, so I had to rent Shrek on Prime Video. So I will be watching that while I'm painting my living room. Yeah, so yeah. See you guys soon.
Today is, every time I press record, Brax needs to go outside. Hold on one second. Oh, so today is Wednesday and it is 10.43 p.m. I am getting a super late start today. I'm just about to make some breakfast. I think I'm gonna try this recipe. I bought the muffin trays yesterday, so I think I'm gonna do this recipe. So that's um, like some egg muffins or whatnot. I am gonna take Brax to PetSmart because I got a lot of PetSmart gift cards or like Petco PetSmart gift cards for Christmas for him. So I'm going to probably take him there, get us some treats um, and then take him to the park so he can kind of like run around and play in today. Later today, I'm going to Botanical Garden to see some lights with some friends. So I'm excited about that. Looking forward to that. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. You want to say hi to the people? You gonna say hi? Say hi. Brax, look at the camera. But anyways, y'all, so I'm about to make this recipe. Might show y'all. Uh, it's my first time making it some egg muffins, so. And then I'm gonna start my day. So I will uh, see y'all um, soon. Brax!
y'all and welcome back so today is new year's day it is january 1st 2024 and it is 8 25 p.m so it's a little late i actually go back to work tomorrow so after i record this video i will be getting ready for bed and i will be getting ready to go to work tomorrow um a few things i didn't even mention i forgot to mention is that um one i have been using the lens for the last um 10 days and it's a sigma um lens and i return it tomorrow so i won't have it tomorrow but i will be renting some other lenses too i don't think that the sigma right now is for me i think the quality is really great but i do think this um lens is giving me a headache right now um honestly a lot is final cut pro i posted my stories i was so upset i had edited a vlog and it just i lost everything and i spent three days to edit it and i'm so i was so upset i just started crying and breaking down and i said you know what i'm going back to final cut pro because i had too many issues with no, 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 I'm going back to Premiere Pro because I had too many issues with the Final Cut Pro. But it, so I'm gonna give another chance, just not no time soon. I cannot do that again. I'm sorry as well. I don't know where my mic went. So I think my mic is either in my car or I lost it. So if I don't find it tomorrow, then I'll probably order another one to have. Um, but let me get comfortable because hold on let me get comfortable so anyways before i end the video i did want to speak about um something that i thought was like very important and i wanted to include in this video and i wanted to talk about just open up and talk about my struggles with my faith in this season that i'm going through it in because as a christian you know as we are all on our journeys like we all have our own things that we deal with and um i just want to share certain things that i'm dealing with i guess now or that i've dealt with previously that i learned from now a struggle that i have i remember when it was 2022 the end of 2022 the beginning of 2023 i feel like i was the kind of person that could wake up early in the morning because i was an early bird anyway so i my body naturally was waking up around like 5 30 ish 6 o'clock a.m and i would easily wake up i would pray i would read my bible like i had my routine going so naturally um and i lost that like the whole of this year has been a struggle and even now it's been a struggle um and i you know at first felt a lot of shame about it and then i felt a lot of guilt about it and i had to kind of like just go back and um and just start from from the beginning to what i know um and a lot of times mm, and i think what i've just learned in my situation behind every person that has a great routine when it comes to like that behind every person is someone that struggled to get there and that's my season that i'm in right now just struggling to get back there but the thing about it is is that i was there before so i don't I don't look at my life or myself and just doubt I can't be there but um I just really miss that you know making time for God um and not in a way where it's like oh I'm so busy to make time for God but just making sure that he's the beginning of your day you start your day connecting with God because it flows your whole entire day you know so um that's something that i've been working or that's something that i've been struggling with and i feel myself like i'll get back on track for like you know a few months or or whatnot and then i fall back off again it always happens whenever like my routine gets out like if i get home late which 2024 i need more better boundaries when i get home late it throws me off especially on the weekday i have to get up every single morning at 6 30. It throws me off when I get out of things and I get home around like 12 or 11 because now I have to take a shower. I got to get dressed. Then I got to like, you know, get in bed, get to sleep. And now I'm losing sleep and now I'm sleeping the next day. So it 2024 is about boundaries. I'm sorry, but I got to protect that part of my life. Um, and just also in planning and organizing. I am a very organized planning person. I am a very organized planning person 
and I do better with schedules and routines. Whenever, if you give me a day, my life, my whole like day would just be too chaotic. But I do so much better with um, routines. Hold on. Actually, oh, what was I talking about? Um, yeah, so that's basically kind of like what i am um, been dealing with right, right there for that part of it. Just making more like finding more still time for God, not trying to pencil him in in my life, but just like making that a priority. And I'm so happy. I mean, if you guys are also a part of a church, it's a corporate fast that starts this week. And I'm just so happy because I know I'm going to get there. Lord, I know I'm going to I know I'm going to get there. But also, too, though, I always think about like, I'm just curious to know what are other Christians goals, you know, in a sense of like, there's always going to be something. There's always going to be something. I don't think that you're going to ever be in a place where you have it all figured out. It's always going to be something that you're struggling with. Always going to be something that you're dealing with. It's always going to be something. So I don't really like give myself, you know, too much like, sh you know, too much like negative feeling about it. But I recognize it and I want to work on it. It's kind of like where I'm at about it but I don't I, I don't I'm not hard on myself I that I don't do because once you're hard on yourself about things like that you start to feel a lot of shame and guilt so when I was when I started to feel that um early in the year I shut it down even though I'm not back where I want it to be I don't feel shame and guilt about it I took it to God he knows the struggle that I have and I'm doing my best to make it a, a, a effort into my life um to make it a thing in my life but um, that's one thing that I've been struggling with a lot lately. Something else that I've been dealing with also, especially for 2024, there's something that I want to work on and it's literally like the lack of people pleasing and maybe not even, I don't know the right term for it. I guess it's, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't like that word people pleasing. I don't like the word because it just don't sound like, I don't, I don't know. I don't like that word. I don't like that word. But anyway, so Something, I talked about this before, I think in my very first vlog or whatever, when I had a, like a, a dream slash not dream. And when I um, was with Jesus and he looked at me and said, who is your God? I, I had that encounter with the Lord um, and during a time where I needed that encounter, you know? And I think something that I'm learning a lot for my particular life, one, a couple things. One, my journey is my journey. I'm not trying to be where nobody else is in their journey. All I know is I'm going back to what I used to do. Focus on myself. Stay in my own lane in my own journey because once you start to like get off track with things, like it just creates chaos and my life cannot know. I don't live in chaos. A lot of things that I, I saw myself move in Christianity was due to people. Christian people or Christian leaders, I would say, um, and that's how I start to live my life based on what what Christian leaders felt Christians should do or not do, uh, be a part of, don't be a part of, you know, X, Y, all these things. And um, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that a lot of things aren't right. However, like, it's my journey, though. You know, I feel like I'm being brought to my journey by listening to what other people tell me and then also make me feel shameful of it. I, I vow to myself and to God that I will continue to follow the words that I, I can hear you say. Even though I may have to ask you a few times, but I think what I learned, especially with going to a new church now as well, is that there's no leader in this world that I ever want to be like. There's no leader in this world that I ever um, want to be my God, that I ever want to follow fully. Like, I listen to, I, I, the Bible talks to us about, you know, being um, slow to speak and quick to listen. It's being wise, right? It talks a lot about wisdom. And I understand that part, right? Like, I understand receiving wisdom. However, what I do also understand is that with everything any leader ever say, I need to follow that up with God, you know, before I do it. Because I'm not going to move, I'm not going to change my life, my lifestyle, my, like, I'm not going to change that because of a human being. You know, if, when my spirit convicts me of something, that's when I won't do it. Like, I've been celibate for years. I don't drink. Only wine and champagne, and that's only because I don't even drink wine and champagne like that. Maybe like a few times a month, if that. But I don't drink alcohol. I don't listen to secular music. If you're ever in my space, I only play gospel music. 
Um, but all these life changing things happen not because of man. It's because of God, because my spirit convict me and stuff. Even something like yoga, right? Like I know Christians that do yoga. However, the I've been convicted and I've done yoga as a Christian, right? But I've been convicted personally for me and I have my personal reasons why I don't do certain things in general. However, like I just feel like how do you not rob someone off of their journey because you don't know what people need in that season and also you don't know what encounters you can have in certain things and a lot of times what i believe is that when we stop doing things because of man we're doing it to please man and our heart not really in it and that's how a lot of people i believe go back to doing things when i hear christians that are believers and that that you know are sexually active like you know it's wrong, right? Before you're married, you know it's like you know it's wrong, right? But your spirits have not been convicted yet of it, um, and that's just your own journey. God will, you know, show you that. And instead of just like condemning people, I think we need to just pray for people. You know, I just pray, Lord, you just remove desires out of people's lives that's not good for them. I pray, Lord, the Bible tells us that God has a, a great plan for us to prosper us, to prosper us, right? To give us hope. Um, and I just pray that people can feel that and can know that and can fight their flesh and not lean on their flesh in times because they trust that your plan, which the Bible says your plan and to do the great things for them. And that's just kind of where I'm at right now with that topic. Just again, like I, as a Christian, I'm on my own journey. I, if I get to the gates, no one can say, hey, can you let Sakina in, please? Like, I have to save myself and my own soul. Therefore, like, I want my journey to be authentic. When my spirit tell me don't do something, to lean on that. But I'm no longer 2024 leaning on man. If you don't want to do something or partake in something or whatever because of your belief, that's fine. That's you. We have Christians that talk about Christmas. We have Christians that talk about, you know, like, so, like movies and exercises and things like that. And I literally moved because of other people telling me oh this isn't good you shouldn't do this or you know give me their story behind it however my spirit is not convicted of it so deep down inside i would not be doing that because of man not because of god let me take it to god and let my spirit convict me of it so that i can genuinely not want to do it you know so that's again that's kind of where i'm at with that going to 2024 um and that's how i'm gonna do okay like they say that the bible says you can test someone's life by their fruit until my fruit start to spoil, I'm going to change it up. You want to go outside, baby? um that's basically that that i've that i've dealt with in 2023 i think in 2023 it's interesting because i think that sometimes as christian leaders christian leaders can sometimes like because they're so a certain place in their walk in their faith they can also like want to want you to get there too and want you to do all of these things as well but i'm not here for that sweetheart I'm not here for, I'm not here to do what you want me to do. I'm here to do what God called me to do. Um, so 2024, I'm going with just like staying on my path, staying on the track and doing what God continues to call me to do because that's all I'm here for. I say that all the time. I said, I'm here to do what God called me to do and I'm going to throw them deuces. Okay. I'm going to throw them deuces. And that's, that's it. That's it. So, um, so yeah, y'all, that's it. A little bit of just like my struggles right now that I've been dealing with when it comes to my spiritual life um, and spiritual walk. Right, so no, 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 I am recording video. Absolutely not. Like I say, you know, we are all going to go through something and our, we all are on this journey. Um, so yeah. And then anyway, other than that, y'all, it is about to be nine o'clock. I need to get ready for bed, but... Like I said, it is New Year's Day. It's a, a brand new year. And last night, my friend Ember came over and we were doing some vision boards. They turned out so cute. They were so cute. And then, um, child, I was asleep before the countdown even happened. So, and then this morning, my sister had a amazing brunch. So, all my family went over there for her house or to her house 
to uh, um, go to brunch and then um, I got off I went to Target I did a tar I do a Target run at least like twice a twice a week and then I came home um, and hung out for the day so I just wanted to sum up this video in some kind of way um, so anyways I hope you guys have an amazing 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 year amazing start of the year and I will see y'all next week for the next video.